What is up, Ada Nation? Welcome back to Dap Central. I'm your host here, Fareed, breaking down all of the latest news pieces and updates going on in Cardano. Now, this is going to be a brief video, but it is one that is important nonetheless. This is going to be surrounding a potential opportunity to get Cardano to the masses with a brand new layer two platform potentially being built utilizing Cardano as the foundation or the layer one. Now, this is going to be with a top tier exchange, which is called Kraken. For those of you not aware, I would say that the largest exchanges are probably going to be Coinbase within the United States. And then outside of that is going to be Binance. But right after those two, I think the third largest exchange could potentially be, if it's not already, Kraken. So Kraken offers very similar services to Coinbase and Binance. One thing that was a little bit of a hiccup recently with Kraken was the fact that they had to pay quite a big fee to the SEC surrounding what they were offering in terms of staking. So that was quite the event. I did cover that a couple of months back, but since then, this team has continued to build and just continue to grow and expand with their latest offering being the potential launch of a layer two. Now they haven't exactly confirmed where that layer two is going to be built on top of, and that's exactly where Cardano comes in. So I want to break down this brief article, and then I want to jump into how Charles Hoskinson has potentially shot his shot at Jesse Powell, who's going to be the CEO of Kraken in order to potentially sway him to build on top of Cardano. So it states Kraken said to seek partner to help build a layer two blockchain network. The crypto exchange, again, Kraken is still considering which blockchain developer should build its network with Polygon, Matter Labs, and Nil Foundation in the mix, according to people familiar with the situation. So unfortunately, don't see them initially looking at Cardano, but that doesn't mean that we are out of the race. Now, such a move would bring Kraken in line with the move earlier by their rival Coinbase to launch their own L2 network. If you guys somehow missed that, that was actually the launch of the base network, which I believe is going to be built utilizing the OP stack developed by the Optimism team. So they've gone that particular route, but they're going to be, again, a top tier exchange building out their own L2. What's interesting is that we also have Binance, which had built out the BNB network, which is going to be a layer one. So we're starting to see more and more of these crypto exchanges building their own network, basically leveraging their own brand in their own communities to push them to utilize their own network or their own specific platform. Now, the very last thing I want to read here is the fact that Kraken is considering, again, Polygon, Matter Labs, and Nil Foundation, and then they have not yet disclosed which one they're actually going to be picking. So conversations are still happening. But once this actual article was released, we saw Charles Hoskinson basically say, I'm game if you are. And he basically added or was tweeting at Jesse Powell. Now he does ask Jesse to private message him, which potentially means that there could be some conversation going on in the background with Charles and Jesse right now as we speak. So we saw additional articles basically come out from top news reporting platforms surrounding crypto. And this is one of them that I wanted to just briefly highlight. So this breaks down everything that I just mentioned about Jesse Powell in the Kraken team looking for potential opportunities for L2s to build on or for um, L1s, I should say, to build their layer two network on. So. That said, I do want to quickly touch on some of the potential benefits that we could see in Cardano if this collaboration were to play out in our favor. But before I do that, I want to quickly jump into DeFi Llama just to kind of give you guys an idea as to how well the base L2 developed by Coinbase has been doing. So as it sits right now, there's over $300 million locked. Keep in mind that this was launched around the July slash August timeline. So this network is still relatively new, only about four to five months old. Now, if we scroll down, I was actually highly surprised as to how many different protocols were actually already live on the platform. So we've got Aerodrome, which is going to be a DEX with over $56 million locked. We've got Stargate, a cross-chain protocol with $47 million locked, followed by Friend.Tech, which is a 
Social Network with over $45 million locked, followed by Compound V3, Moonwell, Uniswap V3, Curve, and so many others. Again, as you guys can see, this list, this list excuse me, is quite lengthy given how quickly this network just launched. So this shows the viability and I think the opportunity that some of these exchanges have when it comes to launching their own L2. Now, if I scroll down here, this does touch on the fact that more and more of these exchanges are building out their own networks, stating launching layer two networks has become a trend amongst crypto entities and exchanges. The move helps exchanges expand their operations in a way that looks to accommodate blockchain technology development. Apart from helping to create an additional re revenue stream for the actual exchange itself, it also helps crypto firms and exchanges establish their presence in the ever involving crypto landscape and access to new markets. So that said, they touch on base here. But as I get ready to wind out this brief update, I want to just quickly touch on some potential benefits that Kraken could have if they were to utilize Cardano as a L1 to build out their L2. So first and foremost is going to be the established reputation that Cardano has. I've mentioned this before, Cardano has now been running up without a single piece of downtime for over five plus years. I believe now going or closing in on six plus years of the network running without any issues. So that is security there as well as reliability, which any person looking to build on a blockchain should be looking for. Number two is going to be the actual community here within Cardano, arguably one of the largest. If you guys have ever seen a Cardano based poll, you'll know that the community always shows up, but it's not just when we're dealing with outsiders. It's also even internally. Now, to be fair, every community does have its infighting from time to time. Cardano is no different, but I would say that the community is one of the most supportive. And I think that if Kraken were to utilize Cardano as their L1 to build out their L2, that they would receive a warm welcome from the actual community. Now, number three, in terms of potential benefits, I think is going to be decentralization. So security and reliability with the uptime, community number two, and then number three would be decentralization. So Cardano boasts over 29, it might actually be over 3000 SPOs at this point, which are basically the backbone in the foundation of the network. So that said, if the Kraken team is all for decentralization, I think that Cardano would be a no brainer. And just to also just be fair, just to look at the other side of the coin, while we do have all of those things going for us, we are still quite early. So in terms of L2s, I believe right now, the main focus from IOG is going to be on Hydra, which is going to be a brand new kind of way to have dApps deal within themselves while settling on the Cardano L1. So this is supposed to increase throughput, and this could be a viable solution that we could also see Kraken begin to adopt if they were to utilize Cardano as their L1 for the L2 that they aim to build. So those are just some of the biggest, I would say, benefits to Kraken. Obviously, there would also be some benefits for the Cardano community. Arguably, the biggest one would be the potential for liquidity to come into the ecosystem. So Given that Kraken already has their own user base, you could imagine that if they were to utilize Cardano for their L1, that all of their users who would be utilizing their L2 would be coming on and contributing to the liquidity and just the eyeballs in the community that we already have here growing on in Cardano. On top of that, I think that the fact that a huge platform, for example, like Kraken has the ability to provide a nice and simple user experience on their exchange that that could potentially translate to a nice and simple user experience also on the L2. Again, platforms and exchanges like this have tons of money to spend on some of these things. So this wouldn't just be an L2 that just gets thrown out there, um, built by one or two people, you would have a huge team contributing full time, which would be, you know, 40 plus hours per week um, to building out this L2 in the hopes that that in itself would be the go-to place for anybody dealing with Kraken. So just some of the pieces that I wanted to highlight there again, um, 
speculation here is definitely in the air. This is by no means saying that, you know, Kraken will be utilizing Cardano for their L2, but it seems like Charles has reached out. I'm not sure if Jesse's taken him up on that offer, but it would be great to see Cardano kind of be in the names or one of the names when the conversations come up in the near future. So that said, that will bring me to the end here for today's video, breaking down that piece of news here. If you guys enjoyed today's brief update, I'd appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by DAP Central and you want more content like this surrounding Cardano, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, Questions for me surrounding Cardano, L2s, or just anything else going on here in this blockchain ecosystem, feel free to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.